What's up, everybody? I'm Big Mike. And I'm Brando. And I'm Clinton. And this right here is Brewheads. You're damn, damn right. right. So, uh, today... <laughs> let's get the fucking I kinda like it. <laughs> I kinda like it. So, we got another one from Skygazer Brewing Company. Uh, you know, you know them. We drink their beers. They drink their beers. Um, so this one... Label upside down. I believe that's on purpose because of the name is Reverse Cosmosis. Yeah. So, we're going to crack it, tell you what we think. Crack it. <sighs> Trying to get a whiff. I did. <clears throat> Make sure you check us out on the Instagrams. Why is that, Mike? We be popping. Oh, I like that color. Yeah. 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 A, little dark, a, little, a little darker. Every day. Popping them grams. What's up with the floaties, man? <laughs> that are you that's, the that's the goodness. Yeah. Some, it's hard to... It's dirty. Yeah, definitely dirty. No light coming through no, no. there. Yeah. No. We do like our darkest of haze, baby. Mm -hmm. Hardest to see through. Smell? Ooh. What? What? Ooh. I don't even know what that what what was, but it made me do it. <laughs> That's a different... What is that? I blame the alcohol and the smell for that one. Yeah, it smells like boozy, don't it? Yeah. Like, like... It's, it smells like it's aged. It, yeah, it's and, a little nose punchy. Yeah. A little nose punchy. I don't yeah. even know what that means, but it is. An aged IPA. It smells like... It smells like, you know, the fruit is like, like really, really ripe fruit. Like, yeah. just before it's spoiled. But also pillowy. Yeah. Fluffy. Yeah, I feel like thick and heavy. Like that that's the aroma I get. Like yeah. a thick and heavy aroma. Alright, let's let's try this. Yeah, I'm give it a sip. It. As always, give me your impression on the first sip. Different? Yeah, that's I feel like we've had this flavor before. Yes, we have. What is it? We've had it's the hop. We've had the no, hop I, before. But what's the flavor? What do? Because I feel like was it apric? Was it ap not apricot? I got apricot stuck in my head because of all the beer. Um. Ah, oh, fuck. Alvarium? No, no, it wasn't from Alvarium. Ooh, might be. I feel like there was a beer we were, was it? No, I'm not. Oh, you know, I'm thinking the guava. Yeah, no, 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 no definitely not. I like the beers that cut, that make you go, hmm. Yeah, no, this is definitely one of those. Or you, you I don't know if I like Beach this bump? yet. Beach bump. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, you are, wow, you are 100% right with that. That does see this, the pause that you guys took seems reminiscent of beach bump. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, just, confused. Yeah. I, there's, there's a lot of flavors there that you can't, I can't really put my finger on, like, I know I've tasted it, but I can't remember what it is. What Olympic sport would you and this beer take home the gold? Besides that color. Jesus Christ. Floor gymnastics. <laughs> you ain't taking no gold home in gymnastics. I can't even say the word right. Gymnastics. I'm nimble. Uh, uh, shot put. Shot put. Yeah, like, you know... You're going to give it your all, but you don't know where it's landing, kind of thing. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. The, I like and this, and I don't like this. Mike, what do you got? I mean, I can't. I don't. You know, ask questions. I, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because you know what? I don't like. I don't really care for the booziness of it. That's the that's the one thing I don't care for. Because it, excuse me, it tastes a little like, ooh, excuse me. Even got me bourbon. Tastes me tastes a little boozy to me. Okay, that's like the only thing. If if you took that out, I'm I'm all day. It even got like my like neck burning a little bit. Like, does it feel some acidic? High, some high horsepower. No, not mm -hmm. not at all. Just mm -hmm. boozy. Mm -hmm. It's it got feels, a boozy it, aspect it to it. Feels creamy. Okay, it feels creamy. Yeah, like it, if, if if you if you told me there was milk sugar in this, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. That because it does have like a sweet undertone to it. Yeah. Um. It it yeah, almost does have like a, a milkshake IPA kind of. Yeah, this one's got me hot too. Profile. I, 
I don't get the boozy. I get the hot, but that could be our conditions. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I am like. I yeah, the know. ACs didn't work today. Yeah. Uh, Got to call somebody. They're back for Yep. What are, what, are, what are our questions we got here? Is it dramatic? I'd go, yeah. 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 Like, this is. I would go like a soap opera dramatic. Yeah. No, exactly. Exactly. Um, the flavor is very powerful. It's um, it's like the, the center stage kind of flavor profile. Okay. Is this beer for everyone? No. 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 I think this have like a, a I think flavor is, profile specific. I think this is like... Um, like prestige level. You've had to have prestige in craft beer in order to enjoy it. Okay. To appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. I actually, I think Brando made the comment, or maybe you, that other brewers yeah. could appreciate, appreciate this yeah, on yeah. a level that regular consumers would, would not. Exactly. Okay. Because yeah. okay. um, it, it, it has that kind of flavor. It has that kind of... Um, it's got that kind of love into it. Yeah. If you could give people just one piece of advice about this beer, what would it be? Enjoy buckle, the ride. Buckle up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> buckle up. Good. I mean, if you definitely if you're not a if you're not a veteran, like, and I'm I'm saying I feel like we've only had one other beer with this kind of profile somewhat to it. Yeah. If you're not a veteran, it's going to catch you off guard. You're most likely going to be like, "This is trash." I do feel like that would be your average person's... Yeah, this is trash. An ...initial reaction. But I, I, I don't think it is. No. Um, it's just, I would have to be in the mood. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. I would have to be in the mood for this. Okay. Like, I, I'd have to, like, in my mind, before I clock out of work, in my hour ride home, I'd be like, that shit's in my fridge. <laughs> I'm going to go home, change... Crack the beer, sip on it for about an hour. Like, you know, plan it out like that for me. What do you think is this beer's greatest achievement? The wow complexity. factor. Yeah, yeah the Com- wow factor, 100%. Okay. I was going to go with complexity. Because it, it just is. smell. It, it does have that wow factor. Like, you try this and you're like, holy crap, I've never had anything like that. Probably. Did you guys try that boozy-esque IPA? Yeah. Here it is. That's and I mean, awesome. this is not like rum rudder boozy. You know, like Founders Rum Runner. Oh, this isn't, oh. yeah, this isn't like that kind of boozy. See, I don't get that level of boozy with like that you're describing. I don't get that. Palettes, baby. Yeah, yeah. And it's a, I mean, I'm not saying it's like aged freaking. It's not CBS. Yeah, yeah, boozy. yeah it's not that. But it's got some. It tastes like it has some horsepower. Okay. All right, let's get into it. Give me your ratings. Whoa. Uh, three, three and a half. I was gonna go three. I mean, it, it's literally, I can't decide whether I like it or I don't like it. I think it's just that kind of beer where, like I said, you got to be in the mood for it. I do enjoy it. I mean, if it was one of those things I went down there and wanted to get a flight of beer, it probably would be in the list of the flight of beers that I would get. You I, know, I, just I to mix it up a little bit. I concur. That's but, another good know, question. Would this be in a flight of beers that yeah. you got? Yeah. It should be. It should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that, oh, yeah, we got to so, read it off. Uh, reverse Cosmosis, Skygazer Brewing. Um, this one rings in at 7.4% horsepower. Wow. Yep. That is way higher than I was expecting. And as always, this artisan beer has been handcrafted with painstaking love, devotion, and care. Please enjoy it thoroughly and thoughtfully with... It's upside down. Yeah, I was just going to say. Oh. <laughs> With great company. Ha! Ah, see? See? Wheat, uh, wheatgrass notes, citrus, slight bitter aftertaste. Um, named after an occasion where one of our brewers was talking about a form of water treatment, but used the wrong word. Whoops. Brewed with heaps of white wheat and flaked oats, notes of citrus, tropics, cantaloupe, cantaloupe and melon. Our softest and smoothest IPA yeah, I yet. Think it, I think the cantaloupe might be. Might be what it is. Yeah, I don't know about soft, about smoothest. Yeah, I mean, no, it is smooth. It's just 
Well, I it's guess different. We, yeah, it's different. I mean, that's really what catches you off guard is the difference, dude. Look at the bottom of your cup. Mm-hmm. I like how they have in here. Careful how you open this. Fitting with its name, the label is reversed. Told you. Wheat grass notes, citrus, slight bitter aftertaste. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so everyone's checked in. Four across the board on uh, Untap. Yeah. It's going pretty close to our ratings. So yeah, that's how that's in this bad boy. Yeah, reverse cosmosis. If you've had it, let us know in the comments. Uh, if you've Thanks. had anything else from them, let us know too. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of this. Make sure you get down there and check out Sky Gazer Brewing, Southern Thinking Etiquette. There you go. You and got as it. always. Drink responsibly, stay wobbly. Catch you on the next one. Deuces. Deuces.